Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to kick players if they have travelled too many studs under a specific amount of time. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a script inside server script service and we're going to want to get the players service. So we're going to do local players equals game get service and then we're going to get the players and then we're also going to want to create a variable for the max studs we're going to allow players to travel. So I'm going to make it a super small number so like that I can actually travel that amount of studs under a specific amount of time. So we're going to do another variable and we're going to call this variable local check interval and here it's after how many seconds you want it to check. So if you want to check every maybe 60 seconds so every minute or every 30 seconds you can put 30 in here but I'm just going to do it every 10 seconds so I'm just going to do 10 and then we're going to add one more variable and it's going to be a counter and we're going to leave that counter at zero for now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a while loop so we're going to do while wait one and do. We're going to do counter plus equals one so that is doing counter equals counter plus one but it's just quicker to write it this way and then we can loop through all the players so what we're going to want to do is we're going to do we're going to want to do four underscore because we don't care about which number it's at and we're going to do plr for player and then we're going to do in pairs and we're going to do players and then we're going to want to get all the children so we're going to do get children and then we're going to do do and then we're going to want to check if the player's character is loaded so we're going to do local char equals player dot character and if the player doesn't have its character loaded maybe because they just joined the game or they reset we're going to want to skip past them for this loop because for example if a player has moved a thousand studs and then it resets because of what we're about to write it's going to think that the character has traveled a thousand studs when they just reset so we're going to do if not char then continue so that we can continue on with the loop we're just ignoring this specific player because their character isn't loaded in so we're going to do local studs walked equals player and then we're going to do get attribute and we're going to do studs walked. So we're going to want to check if the player doesn't have this attribute yet. We're going to want to assign this attribute to them. So we're going to do if not studs walked then studs walked equals zero because they don't have this attribute yet. So they haven't walked any studs. So we're going to create another variable in this while loop and we're going to call this variable last pause and we're going to do equals player and we're going to get an attribute again and we're going to do last position and then we're going to create another variable and this time for the player's current position. So we're going to do local current pause equals char dot primary part dot position and then what we're going to want to do is we're also going to create another variable when the players join. So we're going to do if player get attribute and then let's do character reset then player set attribute character reset and we're going to set this to false. Let's just put a bracket right here um, and that's because we don't want to accidentally mistaken the player for resetting as if they traveled that distance. So we're going to do else if last pause then so like that if they have a last position that means that we can get the magnitude from last position with the current position and to do that we're just going to do local mag equals in brackets we can do last pause minus current pause and you just want to do dot magnitude outside the brackets so that we're getting the distance between the two positions and then we're going to do studs walked plus equals mag because we're going to add all the studs up together and then we're going to do player set attribute studs walked and then we're going to do studs walked from this variable so now that we're adding up all the studs walked by the players we can then check at every interval so every 10 times this loops through which is every second because we have one second in the wait loop so we're going to do if counter is greater than or equal to check interval 
then let's just print the studs walked just so that we can have a visual of the number in the output when we check this later on and then we can do if studs walked is greater than or equal to let's do max studs then we're going to want to kick this player so we're going to do player and then let's do kick you have traveled too many studs and then we can maybe do very suspicious and dot 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 so and we're also going to want to reset this counter after it has hit the interval so we're going to do if counter is greater than or equal to check interval then counter equals zero and what we're going to want to do actually uh, right after this bit over here we're going to want to set the player's attribute of the last position so we're going to do player set attribute and then we're going to do last position and then we're going to set this to the current pause all right so if we test the game now it should work so let's go ahead and see so let's bring out the output so I'm gonna keep walking there we go you were kicked from this experience you have traveled too many studs very suspicious and then the player has to leave so obviously they can come back but you can just hook this up to a data store for your band data and then just load that in every time the players come in the game and then kick them immediately so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to detect when the player's character dies or resets so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do players dot player added and we're going to connect this with a function and inside for our parameter we're going to do plr for player and then we're going to do a function where we're going to do local function character added func and then here we can do char for our parameter and we're going to do char dot humanoid dot died and then we're going to do connect function and then we can do print player just died and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set this character reset attribute to true so we're going to do player set attribute and we're going to do character reset and we're going to set this to true so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do player dot character added and we're going to connect this to this function right here so copy this and paste it over here and we're going to want to check if the player's character has already loaded before this bit of code right here so we're going to do local char equals player dot character and then we're going to do if char then character added func and we're just going to send this char variable to this function over here to this parameter over here so now if we go ahead and play so let's go ahead and play the game so let me just go ahead and die quickly because we have 10 seconds there we go player just died and then this was the amount of studs that i traveled not including when i died so let's go ahead and die again Oh, and I was too late and I traveled 115 studs. So what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to reset the amount of studs that the player has walked after we check the interval because we don't want to add it up all the time. So we're going to do player and we're going to do set attribute studs walked and we're going to set this to zero. It, like that it will reset all the players studs walked added up over this check interval period of time so if we go and make this maybe 15 seconds instead and let's go ahead and try this again so let me just go ahead keep on walking there we go you were kicked from this experience you have traveled too many studs very suspicious and then the player has no options other than leave so Obviously, I did a super, super small amount of studs and I checked it very regularly. So maybe if you want to not check as often, you can do every minute. So every 60 seconds and you can set a way higher number that you want the max studs to be. So maybe you want it to be 10,000 studs. And if they traveled over 10,000 studs, then the players will get kicked. 
So yeah, that was it for this tutorial video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.